This is Isu Tuan, and on today's episode, we're making something very fun. Baked mussels with a cheesy, spicy crab mixture. This is going to be amazing. Now listen, all of the ingredients along with the measurements will be in the description box for you to follow. Do not worry, you know I got you. These are some large New Zealand mussels that I grabbed from H Mart. They come frozen so you do want to defrost them. Then put them in some water to get some of the impurities off. Well all of the impurities off rather. And then you want to go ahead and dry with a paper towel. Now you will have to go through each one to make sure any extra stuff coming out that does not belong, you remove it. Okay? Then we're going to go here to our spicy crab mayo mixture. This is so easy and it's simple and it tastes really good. This is Japanese mayo. This is about one in two cups. It's going to heavily depend on how many mussels you are going to be making. Uh, this is a great appetizer. That's one or two tablespoons of minced garlic and then one or two tablespoons of Korean chili paste, better known as gochujang. You want to go ahead and add that to that mixture. But wait, we got something special. To give it my personal touch, we're adding some good old Obey seasoning from Merlin. For the crab meat, we're going to use claw meat. This is going to give it a different texture than lump crab and it actually gives it a nice flavor. So go ahead and add about a half of cup and you will need to adjust depending on how many mussels you're making and how large the mixture is, so it's very important. Go ahead and start to combine, be gentle with it. It's not lump crab, so you're not breaking up any lumps, but you do want to make sure everything is incorporated into the mixture. Now look. That gives it a look of something very spicy, but it's not too spicy. It got a nice kick of sweetness to it. This is optional, but you can go ahead and add some dry parsley to that. It'll basically rehydrate itself once it's stirred into the mixture as you see on the screen. Now, all you have to do is take that mixture that we made just a few minutes ago and we're going to put that on top of each one of the mussels. Just that easy. And look, we're almost done with this recipe. So just take your time, add a nice spoonful to each one of the New Zealand mussels. And you want to make sure each one has enough crab, enough mayo, enough of that seasoning so that way you can go ahead and slurp it right out of the shell. <laughs> If you like this content and you want to follow my recipes, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Now we're going to go ahead and add some cheese on top of this mussel. So it's that simple. Go ahead and add a mixture of cheese. Now I grabbed a bag of marble cheese from the grocery store. You can also shred your own cheese. But like I said, this is a quick recipe. So I just went ahead and used some bag shredded cheese. And again, the cheese will be your choice. And I went ahead and put on each one of the actual mussels. I'm going to go ahead and take this. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the oven for 350 for about 12 minutes or so. And there you have it. Look at that. That looks amazing. We did it just like that. look at that go ahead and plate it on up add some parsley to that and then we're going to go ahead and squeeze some lemon onto this bad boy and we're going to slurp this right out of the shell look it's dripping with that good old juice that sauce <laughs> so we're going to go ahead mm, it's really good now listen subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell if you like this recipe you want to see more i'm going to finish this up Thanks for watching Eats with Tuan, and as always, stay up, have a blessed one.